The Clinch County Pantherats state runners up a season ago. They lost a lot of talent from that squad, but still undefeated so far this year, a perfect 5-0. The ladies on the road at Brooks County Friday night for a region matchup. First quarter for you, Lady Trojans down three. Jaeza Mitchell, she changes that, pulls up from three-point land, one shot, and we are tied at eight all. Second quarter, Clinch staying out in front, off the steal. Amy on Grady taking this one herself, coast to coast. Finishes at the other end. Clinch County 6-0 with the win. They get the dub 54-45. Valdosta High School boys basketball coach Daryl Lockhart has been a head coach for over a decade and a half. And he's been a good one. Coach with 300 career wins under his belt. On Friday night, to his surprise, the Wildcats surprising him with a gift to commemorate the moment. And the best part, coach had no clue last night's recognition was happening. It's one of those, it's one of those moments that, that catch you by surprise. And uh, it, it was surprising and it, it, it felt great. It feels good to be loved, I tell you that, or be recognized. We're building, we're building, and it's going to be special one day. It's going to be special one day. So, so let's just uh, keep our hands, fingers crossed, and see if we can keep building. We're, in the right, we're going the right direction. Yeah, coach looking to add another win to his resume. Valdosta hosting coffee on Friday night. First quarter, Wildcats striking fast, striking first. Missed three ball in the corner, but an offensive putback from Jacarius Peak puts Valdosta up for early. A little over three minutes left in the quarter. Coffee keeping it close. Good ball movement. The dish underneath to Cameron Jackson pushes the lead to four, and they are not done yet. James Siplin driving middle. Lots of contact. He gets the tough shot to fall. How does he do that? Cats take a four-point lead into the second quarter and they would lead at the final buzzer 57 42 Wildcats finish on top.